Cushing's reflex, signaling potential brain herniation, is identified by hypertension, bradycardia, irregular respirations, often chainstokes breathing. Shock is characterized by decreased blood pressure, increased heart rate, increased respiratory rate. If a patient's vitals show the opposite of shock, suspect increased intracranial pressure, ICP. ICP is the cerebrospinal fluid pressure between the skull and brain. Let's look at three case presentations for how Cushing's triad and increased intracranial pressure can manifest themselves in different patient injuries, illnesses. Case, an elderly patient lost consciousness with no physical trauma. Symptoms include a headache, irregular breathing, heart rate in the 70s, and blood pressure of 206 over 114. This suggests a hemorrhagic stroke, often caused by an intracranial aneurysm. Classic symptoms include face, arm, or speech deficit severe headaches, and sudden unresponsiveness. Case, a younger person falls from a roof, presenting agonal respirations, a heart rate in the 70s, and a blood pressure of 160 over 102. Despite not showing classic signs of increased ICP, the mechanism of injury suggests a high suspicion of head injury, and treating this patient as if they might have hypovolemic shock with aggressive fluid administration may be harmful. Case, a teenager playing ice hockey is struck by a puck and falls, leading to a primary and secondary head injury. Symptoms include snoring, gurgling respirations, and hypertension with a systolic blood pressure of 190. Airway management, assessment for intubation, and rapid transport to definitive care are critical. Recognizing Cushing's triad is crucial in identifying head injuries. Opposite signs from shock suggest increased ICP. Managing fluids carefully and addressing the primary cause of increased ICP is essential for effective patient care.